All right, this is the third tutorial video for the Altival program, and this video will cover topses. We already discussed a simple methodology and additive weighting, but this one is about topses, which is an abbreviation for technique of order preference similarity to the ideal solution and is one of the MCDA multi-criteria decision analysis tool and for the purpose of evaluating alternatives it's a really robust methodology and has got many advantages as the name indicates the method is basically based on findings and ideal and divorce or anti-ideal solution and comparing the difference or the distance of each one of the alternative to those so with that let's start so the example we'll be using for this topsis application is the exact same uh, input file that we use for additive weighting um, with the First row being category uh, or criteria, roadway, public transit, non-motorized environment, energy, MOEs come down and these MOEs relate to roadway, public transit is just one MOE for that category and so on. We, we covered this pretty much in the additive rating, it's exactly the same and now we have input file and we want to use it but this time we want to use to evaluate it based on topsis. Okay, then we launch the program. When we launch, we get this screen and control enter in order to introduce the input file name, which as I said, it's the same file name that we used for the previous example. It's under C demo and the file name is called traffic.xlsx, enter. Okay. Now again, same exactly so far, exactly the same as additive weighting. The difference is now we click on technique for order preference, order of preference by similarity to ideal solution topsis, and then click to get the result. So the result uh, shown below with the score descendingly in order, and alternative two here became the first winner, second winner is alternative 24, and so forth and just like you know other uh, methodologies the same file that you see here the result the output is also saved with a unique name in an excel spreadsheet in the same folder as the input file so with that now we also have the result based on topsis now the main point is what sort of mathematics went into this process that we got this result which is a slightly different than additive rating and later on I'll, I'll, I'll talk about which methodology to use for what file and so forth for what data and so forth okay okay so now let's see how the mathematics of topsis works of course you don't have to know the mathematics the uh, alt eval was pretty simple very user friendly you just create input file and then you call it and use uh, topsis and you get the result but if you really want to get some deep learning and know the insight of how the mathematics works so i've developed this very simple spreadsheet almost silly one but just for the purpose of uh, letting you know about how the maths uh, work here. Uh, we have an input data here, let's say, and we got four candidates. They, they want to get hired and we want to evaluate these four candidates. And uh, we have two categories, credential and cost. Uh, the MOEs associated with credential is years of experience and education and the MOE related to cost is the salary that these employee candidates are requesting. As you see, the years of experience value are real value. The education, if bachelor, they get a score of one, master gets a score of six, PhD 10, so these are rates based on rating scale, 
and salary requested is the actual salary that they have asked for uh, uh, as, as you see I mean we cannot simply add these numbers uh, because you know they are different scale they are not homogeneous and, and they are different unit of measurement uh, the, the salary is in uh, hundred thousand or ten thousand and the the credential as it relates to education is either one six ten so we cannot add them up we need to normalize this that's the first step that we need to do that we need to normalize the value the formula being used for normalizing is down here if it is increase then we we simply divide the input value by the square root of the square root of some of the square values so uh, basically we square the input and the square of the input becomes this table in other words 23 times 23 is 25 29 6 times 6 becomes 36 and so on so this is the square of the input value then we sum these and then a square root of the sum then we divide these input values by this square root of the sum however if the objective direction and the desire is to reduce we also subtract it from one and same time we also multiply this product by the weight the weight by default is the same for both so because credential has got two MOEs we give it two therefore this guy also gets two I mean the cost gets two so that means cost has got one MOE that MOE has two and then credential has got two MOEs each of them are one and then we normalize the value of the weight for MOEs to sum up to one so that's why you have 0 0.25 0 0.25 and 0 0.5 so this is the final weight so we apply these formulas to normalize at the same time we multiply it by the weight here and then we get this result now the good thing about this result is they are all homogeneous it could be added up and then they don't have any unit of measurement anymore they don't have any certain scale they are dimensionless so we got rid of the issue that we had with the input file through the mathematics that went on this process now in the previous methodology additive weighting we ended up at this point we ended up at normalizing value and make them dimensionless and we, we added up all these numbers we got the sum and based on sum we know we, we, we just ordered it descendingly and that was the final score and we define who is ne who is the first best second best third best and so on so that was additive weighting topsis is the same as additive weighting up to this point but it does some other interesting things which i'll show you now okay that normalized uh, uh, value that i just showed you i moved it also here so I'm able to uh, describe what else goes on uh, uh, at this point when it got normalized then we have these several steps showing here one thing we do we, we calculate the distance from the ideal when I say distance here that doesn't mean distance like length it, it means simply difference difference so in this in this MOE years of experience remember when we make we made them dimensionless then increase reduce didn't mean anything all of them as increase it gets better now right because we made we applied those formula especially when it was reduced we subtracted by one so all of them increases better right so for years of experience the Mary looks like has got 0.19 years of experience 0.19 and that's the ideal so for years of experience Mary has got the highest experience highest number of years of experience and that is the ideal so uh, we see how is Jack doing 
relative to the ideal which was Mary. So in a way, uh, topsis has a reference. So good and bad has some meaning. So to us, ideal is Mary, and relative to Mary, we want to evaluate all others. So we take the difference, difference from point 14, which is Jack's score on years of experience, and the ideal, which is point 19. Uh, by the way, we also square that difference. So uh, the values that you see entitled as distance from ideal, is the difference from the ideal squared and and the difference is is shown here difference from ideal of course mary gets zero because you know her her score was already ideal and then ideal minus herself then that's 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 it so zero so in this in this table it's basically the normalized value minus the ideal for each moe so I've called it distance from ideal. Of course, now the higher the distance from the ideal, the worse it is, right? Because you want to be closer to ideal. So distance from ideal is this one. The, the higher the number, the worse it is now. How about distance from the worse? Then exact same thing, we subtract each value from the minimum because here, remember, normalized value, the higher was the better. So now we subtract the value from the minimum and also square it. And that gives you the distance from the worst. So here, Ali, in terms of years of experience, he doesn't have much years of experience. And that's why in normalized value, he got the lowest number and therefore distance from uh, divorce is zero. He's right at the worst situation when it comes uh, to years of experience. And we get the other result as well on this table. So in this table, distance from the worst, the, the, uh, the higher, the longer the distance is, the higher the number is, the better. You want to be distant from the worst, right? And you want to be close to ideal. So this table, these two tables are very important. Distance from ideal, distance from the worst. Then we sum these numbers and we put it here. So basically it indicates, it's indicative of how far they are from ideal and we sum this distance from the worst and put it in the next column and that shows, you know, how far they are an aggregate level how far from the worse so we have this and then we get the ratio of how far they are from the worse to the total distance and it goes in the final score and then that means the higher the number the better it is so Charlie uh, has got 0.76 and is really far from the worst and then uh, relative to, to the total distance is far from the worst and he gets uh, rank one and so forth as you see in the result table at the end. Okay, so with that we have now covered the mathematics that goes in topsis. As I said, the mathematics is the same as additive range up to normalized value from that on topsis has this advantage which sort of you know relative to others it kind of ranks and score the values and that's basically it okay so before we conclude this part of the video tutorial let's compare the result based on additive weighting and topsis final result of course this is just a simple example as i said just to cross the message and how each methodology works so i made up some numbers in particular to get some difference so we understand what's going on with each methodology now as you can see in additive rating jack and ali get fourth and third rank respectively it's the same with topsis the difference happens with mary and charlie 
Mary becomes the first winner using additive weighting and uh, Mary gets the second becomes the second rank with the topses and of course Charlie becomes second on additive weighting and first winner on the topses okay so what happens that there is a difference between the two each of them have some merit additive weighting stopped at normalization and added up the normalized number so let's look at it this way mary had 30 years of experience whereas charlie had only nine years of experience so relative to sum the sum of the years of experience and by the way, I'm going to call years of experience good, but I'm going to call cost bad. Bad thing is cost, good thing is year of experience. So the sum is 72 for years of experience. And Mary has 42% of the overall, if we add up all the years of experience from four people, she she has she she has forty two percent of the all, and Charlie has thirteen percent. When it comes to cost, the bad thing. Mary has eighteen percent of the bad thing, and Charlie has three percent of the bad thing. So the net good and bad as it relates to the total. So in a way, see, percentage is also dimensionless and doesn't care for unit of measurement. So 42 minus 18 net good result would be 24% Mary. But Charlie, 13 of the good thing, 3% of the bad thing, 13 minus 3 is 10%. So 24 versus 10, that says relative to some, Mary is the winner, relative to some. And that's what additive weighting does. It normalizes all the value as I went through it, based on the sum. Tops us, goes a step above and beyond. It takes the normalized value and then it compares it to the ideal in each category and if you compare to the ideal in each category and the distance from good and bad ideal and anti-ideal then relative to the best and worst then situation changes and Charlie becomes number one and Mary becomes number two Look at these numbers. How would you rate? I mean, it's a simple one. You, 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 we don't probably need a robust calculation. And remember, the weights in the examples are the same. Credential is two, cost is two. So, so regardless of the weights, which one would you rank as number one and as number two? But anyhow, this is basically the gist of it and each of them, each method has merit. What you need to do when you, you, you work on an actual exercise, look at additive weighting as uh, one person, let's say. It's, it's Mr. or Ms. Additive Weighting and Topsis is Ms. or Mr. Topsis and you're consulting. That's the matter of opinion of additive weighting and that's the matter of opinion and of, of topsis. So look at the numbers and who knows, maybe in your alternative analysis you don't get difference and consistently uh, always a one alternative is a first winner so there's no issue. If there is a difference then you have to consult, you have to just judge it and evaluate and make the decision accordingly. Okay, so this concludes the third part of the Altival video tutorial.
In the second part, we covered simple methodology and additive rating, both for the purpose of evaluation of alternatives. Of course, additive rating is a robust methodology as it's compared to simple methodology. And mainly the problem with simple methodology is that you use lots of subjective and some judgment because mostly the rates are the values you use for your input file and if you don't use the rates then you have to use values for all criteria which have the same unit of measurement so you could add them up and therefore the additive rating it, it eliminates those issues by the mathematics it applies it's a good methodology uh, also this uh, session covered Topsys and Topsys is also another robust methodology which is up to some point is similar to additive up to actually normalize normalization of the values which makes them dimension less uh, it, it's the same as additive uh, weighing however it goes uh, in a step beyond and above by checking the reference point and, and uh, every input value is compared against uh, what is the ideal for that certain criteria what, what is the worst who, which alternative is the worst which alternative is the ideal and compares it against worse and ideal and based on such a relative and comparison it gives the result in any case both of them should be applied and then some judgment needs to be made and see which one works uh, better it's always good to have different scenarios as per additive weighing this is the result as per topsis this is the result as per this weigh weighing scenario this is the result and as different weighing scenario you know different provide different result and just to summarize all these different results in a spreadsheet and see which alternative is so stubborn to always become the first winner and in case you know there is variation among the uh, first second third or uh, these then start discussing and see what's going on and then make the best judgment at the end okay so with that more robust methodology to come